Winter spring protesters outside a Donald Trump rally continues to get a lot of attention. Police Chief Daryl Forte is responding to some of the criticism. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains why police say they resorted to pepper spray. Yeah, well, Shannon, Chief Forte is using this video to show how the protests got out of hand. He says police used pepper spray to keep things under control, but some protesters say they went too far. Kansas City police are facing heat for pepper spraying protesters outside a recent Donald Trump rally. We were much more vocal as a group. Michaela Dreyer protested with her friend Guy Niederhauser. She says the crowd was unified when things suddenly turned for the worse. A group of the protesters. Um, came around and started asking us all to link arms to take the street. Minutes later, police pushed back and pepper sprayed protesters. Niederhauser says while trying to control the crowd, police went overboard. The pepper spray wasn't just used on the protesters in the street. The pepper spray was used on the protesters on the sidewalk doing what they were supposed to be doing. Now the KCPD is responding. In a blog post released today, police chief Darrell Forte said protesters surrounded officers at one point. Some of them even assaulted a police horse and tried to rush the Midland Theater. After several warnings, police used pepper spray to push protesters from the streets. Rick Dowd tried to attend the Trump rally, but he says the protests got in the way. They're screaming, they're cursing at the police, as well as, the, as to the folks that were standing in line. He says officers did what they had to do. I just thought it was, very, uh, it was a very threatening environment for the police to be in. I thought they did a great job. But protesters like Guy Niederhauser remain skeptical of the police tactics. To just wipe us all out uh, with pepper spray, um, seemed excessive. Michaela Dreyer says she wrote Chief Forte a letter thanking him for his service, but questioning the pepper spray decision. We reached out to police for a comment. An officer said the chief's blog should answer people's questions. Shannon. And Chief Forte applauded his department's handling of the crowd in a series of tweets, and he said businesses are intact because of his officers' actions. Going on to say, quote, coordination, calmness, and composure of officers was remarkable throughout the evening under very stressful conditions. Thank you. But not everyone agrees with how police handled the situation last night. Jackson tweeted, disgraceful. Police proactively pepper sprayed entire crowd in Trump protest, and Adar tweeted, what do you call it when the force of the state violates First Amendment rights of folks, like what happened in KC?